Joining us now, trial attorney Mercedes Colwyn to talk more about this case. Uh, thank you and welcome as always. You know, the judge made an interesting order early on in this case to not show too much emotion in court. And here we are, day two of testimony, and Jennifer Crombley is crying. Her attorney has some emotional moments, the witnesses. What do you make of that order in such an emotionally charged case? Great question, Marty. Always wonderful to be on your show. It seems pretty punitive for the judge, considering the deaths of four young students, considering the circumstances of what took place, for the judge to say to everyone, no emotion here. I mean, we're all human beings. The juries will be emotional. You'll There are many times when I've tried cases when I've seen the emotion that is being displayed, not by even the parties, but by the jurors themselves. So it seems a little punitive that the judge is taking that position. It really will not move the needle. The juries will be instructed on how to deal with empathy and sympathy. Empathy and sympathy have no place in this courtroom. And that could still mean that the individuals, if they're emotional and they're upset, they can display those emotions. It's not going to move the needle and exonerate Ms. Grumbly at the end of the day. Yeah, hard though to put aside just all that we know about this tragic case. I want to play a couple of sound bites. First, this is from the defense talking about Jennifer Crumbly as a mom, as a parent in this case. Jennifer Crumbly is not a perfect parent, and we don't claim that she is. But what the evidence is going to show in this case is that the prosecution has very selectively pulled out slivers of evidence from a forest of trees to try to convince you that there was something wrong with Ethan and Jennifer Crumbly as his mom should have known. So the defense here, Mercedes, is going to paint a different picture, that she was a good mom, highlight the positive things in her relationship with her son and the fact that she didn't know any of this. How do you see that strategy playing out for this jury? I don't think the defense had any ability to do anything else. They really had to try to deflect what's obvious from looking at all those text messages where Ethan is crying out for help, where Ethan thinks that he's, in, he's being haunted, chased by demons, things thrown at him, voices. And when you look at the many text messages between himself and his mother that were, uh, they, she didn't respond to them. She didn't return home. She didn't even call him. She just went on her day and allowed her son to continue in this mental decline. It, it's the only way that the defense could conceivably have tried to stop this avalanche of text messages are going to come forward. But the jury is going to see them. They're going to be able to create the timeline themselves. They're going to see the many days, the many nights, the many text messages that went un unanswered. At, how can they conceivably conclude she's a great mother, giving all of that? It, it is, it's definitely something that they needed to do, but it's going to fall flat. Right, and so maybe the Hail Mary is put her on the stand and the jury sympathizes with her. Is, is there quite a bit of risk in that? Great point, Marnie. It really is the Hail Mary. It's, it's the only way that she, and you know she'll be emotional, she's going to cry. Her son is, is in prison for life. This as a sick now he's 17, but he's literally in prison for life. She will be very emotional. And maybe then she can say, I could never have conceived for one moment that my child was capable of doing this. I didn't pull the trigger. I didn't buy the gun. I am not the guy. I, I may have taken him. To, I am. A, a, I do obviously use guns and I took him to the firing range, but I, I didn't do anything and could not have foreseen that he would have done this. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.